Today we are looking at some news involving the Academy, transfer rumours, the Rex Coast Tour and welcome to Wrexham. Wrexham AFC have said that they are proud to announce their status as an EFL Category 3 Academy from the 24-25 season. There was a successful audit and Academy manager Andy Lowe said, I'm absolutely delighted and extremely proud to confirm we have been awarded a licence to operate as an EFL Category 3 Academy. This long-term project should be able to produce talented young players for the Wrexham first team. Wrexham have reportedly inquired about a player from Premier League side Spurs. 19-year-old Will Lankshire is also reported to be receiving interest from Sunderland and Hull. If successful, Lankshire, who recently signed a five-year deal with Spurs, would be a loanee. Lankshire was named Premier League 2 Player of the Season for 23-24 after scoring 21 goals in the competition. The highly rated striker is tipped for a very bright future. He rose up through the academy ranks at Arsenal and represented them at various youth levels before moving to Sheffield United in 2021. He spent a year with them until Spurs lured him back to London. This would be a coup for Wrexham FC, so we have to sit tight and hope the rumours lead to something more solid. Wrexham played Bournemouth tonight in their first game of the Rex Coast Tour. Wrexham AFC and Stoke Colbrew Coffee hosted a red carpet event in celebration of the upcoming 2024 Rex Coast Tour last night in Beverly Hills. Rob McElhenney attended alongside Wrexham AFC men's manager Phil Parkinson and Humphrey Carr. The first team have been busy training and some spent last night watching the women play their first game of the tour. Welcome to Wrexham has won six Emmy Award nominations. Outstanding Directing, Cinematography, Picture Editing, Sound Editing, Sound Mixing and Outstanding Unstructured Reality Programme. Both Reynolds and McElhenney shared their heartfelt messages on X and thank the people of Wrexham. Finally, work is continuing on the Wrexham fan zone. The ground has been flattened and diggers are removing soil and rock. New tarmac has appeared by the temporary stand. We've been told a giant marquee is being placed there. I did a video a few days ago which I will link in the description which lists the admission prices. The Turf Pub will be going ahead with their fan zone and admission will be free. Thanks for watching. I hope you're all having a nice weekend.